Welcome back. Meals on Wheels is New Mexico is a nonprofit organization that prepares and delivers locally sourced medically tailored meals to people who are homebound. They've announced that they have received a grant that will help them further that mission. We're joined this morning by the CEO of Meals on Wheels, Shauna Frost, to tell us a little bit more. Good morning, Shauna. Good morning. Thanks so much for being here this morning. Tell us a little bit about Meals on Wheels New Mexico and what your mission is. Yeah, so at Meals on Wheels New Mexico, I like to say we deliver food and friendship to the homebound across Albuquerque and the entire state of New Mexico. Um, we're in our 51st year and in that time, uh, we uh, guesstimate that we have delivered about 5 million meals wow. um, to New Mexico and the Albuquerque area. And um, it's a hot meal direct to your door Monday through Friday delivered by a friendly face along with a wellness check. 5 million meals, that's really impressive. Now you guys recently received a $25,000 grant from Meals on Wheels America. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about how that grant is, is really going to help you guys further that mission. Yeah, so there's still a lot of unmet need here in Albuquerque and New Mexico. And so this grant is gonna help us out in a few different ways. The first one, it's gonna deliver about 2,000 meals right here in the Albuquerque metro area with face-to-face -face delivery. Next, it's gonna do about five weeks of frozen meals down to the city of Las Cruces. We are uh, partnering with them to help supplement uh, their senior meal delivery program and help expand access down there. And we also ship our meals statewide, and so it's gonna provide about uh, 200 shipped meals along with covering shipping charges as well to places that we uh, might not offer face-to-face -face delivery. Wow, now how prevalent is that unmet need here in New Mexico? You kind of just mentioned it, that in Albuquerque it's pretty high. It is, and so a lot of people don't realize that we are second in the nation for senior food insecurity. And by 2030, we are going to be uh, the third highest percentage-wise for people over the age of 65. And so it's large now and it's gonna continue to grow and we want to be able to uh, continue to meet that need. One of the things that you keep emphasizing too is face-to-face -face delivery. Yeah. How important is that for these individuals who are homebound and maybe don't have someone that is capable of checking in on them every day to make sure that they're okay? Yeah, it can be life-changing. So there's been a lot of studies done about how the Meals on Wheels model itself mm -hmm. can improve people's lives. And so beyond just the food, the idea that somebody's gonna be coming to your door and checking on you on a regular basis uh, reduces isolation by about 34%. It can reduce the number of falls that people experience. Even just the idea, um, maybe they're not quite on a program yet, maybe they're thinking about a program or they're on a wait list for a program similar to ours. Even just the idea that I'm gonna be able to get off this wait list soon reduces that risk of falls. Can you tell us a little bit about the Million Meals campaign and how it's progressing? Yes, so last year we started our Million Meals campaign. Um, like I said, in the past uh, 51 years, mm -hmm. we estimate that we've done uh, close to 5 million meals. And so we decided, you know what, we're gonna do a million meals in the next five years. It's a, about a doubling of what we've done in wow. the past. Uh, and we think we can get there, we know we can get there. Uh, our goal this year was 159,000 meals to make sure that we were on track to hit that million. And I am excited to announce that we have hit our 159,000 okay. meals already before the end of the year. And we'll probably be close to 200 to 220,000 meals delivered by the end of the year. That's great. 